cover starts to work its way back in, but we're dry all the way through 11. In fact, most spots will likely not see a drop of rain, but if we do see anything falling from the sky, of course, the WBTM 13 live Doppler three minute advantage will be tracking it first. The reason why we had all of those storms in Nashville produce the flooding was because these fronts, these stalled out boundaries, they do not move. They stay parked for several days and that increases the flood threat. I'm mentioning it because we have a stalled out front to our south and that's going to be lifting northward in the days ahead and bring our rain chances back into the forecast by tomorrow. 51 degrees, that's nice because the dry air is going to prevent a lot of the onset of the rain chances on Tuesday. So check this out. There's the stalled out front. It starts to bring up the moisture. There's 11 a.m. That's why we have that 20% chance around midday. There's 6 p.m. So it's very sporadic, but we will see sunshine intermittent. Just plan to see a couple of rogue showers tomorrow afternoon. Wednesday, 4 o'clock in the morning, we really start cranking out some more rain because we're going to see this rain developing ahead of the cold front. So if it starts raining at 4 o'clock in the morning and it's still raining at about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, that's a good solid 12 hours where portions of I-22 are going to see rainfall. So maybe an inch or two possible when all is said and done. This broken line continues to press eastward by 6 p.m. on Wednesday and then by 9 it's out of here. So the severe threat, the window is between noon and 9 p.m. So lunch, uh, picking up the kiddos from school, running errands in the afternoon. You've got to stay cautious to set the alerts on your phone and that way no matter where you are, you'll say, OK, well, it's in my county. I better either head home or figure out another way because flash flooding is possible. And I did research some of the deaths that occurred in the Tennessee area and they were inside of their vehicle during a flood and that is the worst place that you can possibly be. You just need to shelter in place. So uh, protecting yourself on these impact days really is vital and that's why we highlight these days in particular to really point out the fact that the flood threat is still there because we're going to see so much rain. There could be some intermittent heavier downpours with some damaging winds, but by Friday, freezing temperatures. The cold air is not done with us yet. We are in spring, so the roller coaster ride of weather will continue. But once we get through all the rain on Wednesday, it'll be dry through the weekend.